Hey, Giants fans, my boy Marshall Green, the normal host here on New York Giants now, wants to do a mailbag later in the week. So here's what you got to do. You got to use hashtag Giants right now in the comments and ask your questions. Training camp, roster cuts, week one, preseason, whatever your questions are, ask away right now by using hashtag Giants in the comments section. Plus, you got to be subscribed to be on this upcoming mailbag. So subscribe, get your questions in, and my boy Marshall will answer as many as he can coming up later in the week. With that being said, the Giants have made a trade. So let's break it down on today's video. We have some breaking news here on New York Giants now. I am Harrison Graham filling in for Marshall Green as the Giants have traded for a cornerback, Keon Crossin, from the Houston Texans for a future draft pick. Doug Kyatt had the news on this first, uh, tweeting this out just recently. The Texans are trading for Keon Crossin to the Giants per source. So uh, Giants add a uh, member to the secondary from another team as they beef up their CB unit. They add Crossin here, entering his fourth NFL season season spent the last couple of years with the Houston Texans his rookie season back with the New England Patriots we'll uh, talk about the significance of that here in just a little bit I think his main role will be on special teams but he is coming off his best season in 2020 where he got some opportunities due to some injuries in Houston had five pass breakups a year ago trade very simple sixth round pick heading to Houston uh, for uh, Cross and heading back to the Giants. It's not even a sixth round pick next year. It's a 2023. So if he makes the roster and contributes, even if it's just mostly on special teams, that's pretty good value overall. You're trading a sixth round pick, which guys don't even always make the team that late in the draft uh, two years from now. So no big deal. Grade the trade. A, B, C, D, or F. What do you guys think of this move of acquiring Crossan from the Houston Texans for a future sixth round pick? Get your grades in A, B, C, D, or F. I think it's a solid B for a couple of reasons. Number one, you can't have too many cornerbacks. And number two, a lot of teams over or undervalue, I should say, Special teams, and this is a, score, a core special teams guy. Joe Judge is familiar with him going back to his time in New England, and Judge obviously has a background in special teams play, being the special teams coach with the Patriots for a long time. Uh, so Crossan comes in here. He'll fill a role in that regard. Also had five pass breakups uh, last year, like I said, had a career year in that regard, only 25 years old. Uh, I think he plugs in, and he is uh, you know, a depth corner and a guy that can, uh, that can contribute right away uh, here on special teams. So you're able to add a guy to this CB unit in Keon Crossan. So uh, I like the move overall. That's why I give it a B grade. I think we've got the depth chart that we can show you guys just to kind of see where he plugs in uh, with the New York Giants. I think he's probably CB4 on this depth chart behind Bradbury, Jackson, and Holmes. Uh, we'll see where uh, rookie uh, Rodarius Williams plugs in, uh, Yadam as well. Uh, but uh, I think overall uh, he will come in, be CB4, CB5, play a lot on special teams, and I think he will make this 50 three-man roster. So Keon Crossan to the New York Giants from the Houston Texans in a trade. Join the family here on New York Giants now. Marshall Green has been working hard to bring you guys a ton of Giants coverage. We crossed 1,200 subs over the weekend. Let's keep the train rolling. So hit that subscribe button. More videos from training camp, the preseason, and on into the regular season as well. The link's below. Share it with your Giants friends. YouTube.com slash NYGiantsTV. Do not miss any of our coverage here on New York Giants now. Real quickly here, Crossan did make four starts a year ago over 16 games of work. Five pass breakups, had zero interceptions. So, you know, he hasn't taken a ton of leaps in terms of a playmaker, but uh, his five PBUs, he only had two through two seasons. So that's quite a leap last year. But like I said, special teams piece, depth move, that's what you're getting here with Cross and, and a guy that Judge is familiar with. So I like this move overall. Uh, Joe Judge uh, has been a guy that uh, some players like him, some don't. But if he's making this move, I think this is a good move. And that's why uh, Jordan Renan, who covers the Giants for ESPN, wanted to point out that uh, uh, he will be a special teams fit and that uh, Judge knows him from his time in New England. So Cross and on board, we'll see exactly what his role ends up being. But I think it's pretty safe to say – uh, back up in the secondary and primarily will be utilized as a special teams contributor as he is on board with the New York Giants. 
Some other Giants news, Brian Lewerke has been signed at quarterback as uh, he kind of fills that third string QB role. Uh, went undrafted last year uh, out of Michigan State, spent some time on the Patriots practice squad. Clayton Thorson was released in a corresponding move. So basically swap QB threes here. Thorson had the concussion, the late injury in the last game. Didn't play that well anyway. Uh, so they opt to uh, cut ties with him and bring Brian Lewerke on board. Obviously, this is not a guy that, oh my goodness, Daniel Jones' job is in jeopardy. That's not the case whatsoever. You just need uh, bodies at quarterback in training camp. A lot of teams carry four in camp. Uh, the Giants just carrying three as they uh, dump Thorson and bring Lewerke on board. Let me say this, though. Brian Lewerke is bad. His sophomore year at Michigan State, three, four years ago, he was pretty good. He went downhill after that, which is why he went undrafted. I think if he had continued to improve, he would have been a third or fourth round pick, but he just continued to get worse, which is why he didn't get selected last year. But he's a camp body. He'll help, uh, you know, your scout team and things of that nature. Maybe he's your practice squad quarterback uh, this year. Clayton Thorson now becomes a free agent, so we will see uh, what is in the future for him as the Giants have cut him in favor of Brian Lewerke, who spent last season on the Patriots practice squad like I previously mentioned has never played in an actual NFL game. What I want to ask you, because Mike Glennon is QB2 and he is uh, not great, do the Giants need to upgrade at, upgrade at backup quarterback? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd like to see it happen, but at the same time, you want Daniel Jones to uh, feel free and let it rip this year, not uh, feel like uh, someone's gunning for his job. So Glennon's not great, but he's not the worst. Let me know what you guys think down below. Some quick injury stuff. Kadarius Tony, an update here. We don't really know exactly what's going on with him because Joe Judge continues to be kind of vague about what he's exactly dealing with. But he will travel uh, to Cleveland for joint practices this week and possibly be available this upcoming weekend for the Giants' second preseason game. We'll see if he practices. We'll see if he plays in the game. Unclear at this point in time. Here's what Judge had to say on Tony and all the injured players. Right now, we are planning to take injured players with us, the purpose being uh, going out there and letting them do some of the rehab and recovery while we're out there at either Cleveland's facilities or on the field while we're practicing. So that will be the plan right now. Kadarius Tony needs to get out there and play. Uh, Weird thing after weird thing keeps happening with this guy. It goes back starting with the first mini rookie minicamp practice where the cleats wouldn't work or they didn't fit or whatever. Like, this guy needs reps. This is your first-round pick. You want him to be full throttle by week one. So hopefully you get some practice this week and get some preseason action as well because Giants invest a lot in this kid, and they need him uh, uh, to uh, be ready to go and to contribute as soon as possible. Be honest. Are you concerned with Tony? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. Simple yes or no answer. I'm not panicked but I am a little bit concerned. Let me know if you are down in the comments. Saquon Barkley probably will travel to Cleveland, but he's probably not going to do much of actual practicing uh, in the joint practices. Probably won't play in the preseason uh, game as well, but he'll continue to get his rehab in. I think they're going to continue to play it safe with him, monitor that situation, and uh, ease him back in because the goal for him is uh, to be able to play by week one. Last piece of news here, the Giants did place three on injured reserve. Uh, Kyle Murphy, uh, TJ Brunson, and Joshua Kalu. I've got some notes here. Brunson, torn ACL. He was on track uh, uh, to, uh, to have a role on this team as a special teams guy. Kyle Murphy dealing with an ankle injury. And then uh, Kalu with a pec injury had a chance to be one of the final defensive backs on this roster. So we will see. Maybe that's part of the key on cross and trade as well. Quick reminder, mailbag coming up later in the week, which is why you should subscribe, youtube.com slash NYGiantsTV. Marshall Green, the entire chat sports team, will continue to keep you guys up to date with everything here on your New York football Giants. So subscribe, get your questions in by using hashtag Giants, and we'll see you soon here on the channel.